considered. Carlton and Cantrell looks pretty good. Two went what, through what this eye. It? And one's in my sinus cavity. And it's still bleeding right now, my sinus cavity is. And uh, one went in the back of my throat. And that's not even the bad part. All these little spots of pellets that are in, in, embedded in my uh, skull. One went into my skull. All of this because of this father and son, 18-year-old Derek Moore and 42-year-old Walter Moore. Cantrell says it all started when the two men drove in front of his house. He says the father was yelling at him about his dog, Zoe, being in the road. He started cussing me out and said he was going to kill all of my dogs. Cantrell says after that, they left. Then he called 911. A few minutes later, we was waiting for the sheriff's department, and here he comes back, and his son's standing up in the back of the truck. This time, he says the son was holding a shotgun. Cantrell knew there would be trouble. And all of a sudden, one of, our, one of my dogs, Zoe, ran out there. And he was just running out there to protect us. He was barking, and he took the shotgun and shot him right there in front of me. Zoe was dead, and soon Cantrell would be lucky to be alive. I pulled my pistol out, and I, I said, you better stop. And I shot the pistol just to warn him. Then he aimed a shotgun at me, and he hit me. Cantrell doesn't remember much after that. He says this isn't the first time he's had a run-in with the Moors. He says they've been harassing him about not having enough control over his animals for quite some time. It's an ongoing thing. It's been going on for years now. And now it's come to a head. Cantrell tells me doctors wanted to perform brain surgery as a safety precaution, but right now he's holding off because he thinks it's too risky. They also told him there's a chance he could develop spinal meningitis. He says he's doing fine and, believe it or not, is expected to make a full recovery. Live in the studio, Trey Paul, WIS News 10.